Two AI titans just dropped their flagship models within months of each other. OpenAI released GPT-5 in August, claiming it's their smartest model yet. Google countered with Gemini 2.5 Pro, featuring Deep Think Mode. Both companies promise revolutionary intelligence. Both have armies of fanboys ready to battle in comment sections. So which one actually delivers? Let's start with what these things actually are. GPT-5 launched August 7th as a unified system that routes tasks to different AI components based on complexity. Simple questions get fast responses, complex problems trigger deeper reasoning. OpenAI scored 75% on SWE Bench Verified for coding and made it free for everyone. Gemini 2.5 Pro dropped in March with Deep Think Mode. Google claims it uses extended parallel thinking and reinforcement learning for complex problems. It tops the LM Arena leaderboard, which measures human preferences, and dominates multimodal tasks. The catch? DeepThink costs extra and burns through tokens like a bonfire. Here's where it gets interesting. Independent testing reveals these models excel at different things. Tom's Guide ran 10 identical prompts on both. GPT-5 won seven rounds with more natural language and better personality. Gemini crushed it on speed and factual accuracy. One handled creative writing like a novelist, the other retrieved information like a search engine on steroids. The coding comparison exposes the real divide. GPT-5 scored higher on benchmarks at 75% versus Gemini's 64%. But real-world tests told a different story. Gemini actually won complex multi-file debugging tasks despite lower benchmark scores. Plot twist, benchmarks don't always predict real performance. Cost is where things get messy. GPT-5 offers free access and uses hierarchical routing to control expenses. Gemini requires a paid subscription for full features, and deep think mode can drain your token budget faster than a leaky faucet. You're paying for thinking time which sounds philosophical until you see the bill. The multimodal capabilities reveal another gap. Gemini handles images, video, and live web data natively. GPT-5 focuses on language mastery and agentic tasks. It's the difference between a polyglot and a specialist. Both are impressive, but at fundamentally different things. So what's the verdict? Neither is objectively better because they're solving different problems. GPT-5 wins if you need natural conversation, creative writing, and cost control. Gemini dominates for research, visual tasks, and speed when you're willing to pay. The real scam is tech media declaring winners based on cherry-picked tests that ignore actual use cases. If this helped you pick the right AI assistant, perfect. I investigate tech that promises intelligence but sometimes delivers expensive confusion. Drop a comment about which model you're using. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products. And honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive, and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. 
Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.